I'm going to be building a composting toilet. This is a composting bucket sawdust toilet uh, underneath of the couch bench here. So if that's not something that you guys are interested in seeing, now's the time to click away. However, I do know that a lot of people are very interested in seeing this sort of thing because it's a huge question that I see uh, van lifers being asked and that's like, where's your toilet? Where do you go to the washroom? So this is kind of be going to be an answer to that in a way uh, for my plans on how that's going to be managed. I'm not going to go into very much detail here and you're not going to see anything that you really don't want to see. This is just me building the toilet. So for those of you who are interested, keep watching. So I've got myself a toilet lid here that I can use and I'm going to be putting it on this board here, right? Problem is it won't fit as is like with this seat and everything like this, there's not enough room under the lid here for the lid. Basically this portion here is too tall and I cannot figure out how you get the, the lid separated from the seat. They're not made to come apart. So what I'm going to try and do is just cut a line right across here and just get myself the seat portion. Well, it only took a little bit of going at it with the Dremel in order to get the lid off. So I'm still left with the problem of this high bit here. So I'm still going to need to cut that down. So the plan to get rid of this part here is to just chop it off with the table saw. And hopefully that works out fine. Well, it did work. It seems the problem with cutting up this plastic with the saw is that it kind of melts it. Um, so I might have to clean this up a little bit somehow, maybe with a file or something. But I did get rid of that part there, so hopefully this works now. I've still got a problem. It won't close all the way. By moving the toilet all the way back, you can see the problem. Basically, down here, this board is shorter right there than the toilet lid. So I've got a plan to make this fit. Basically I've traced the inside here and then I've just gone around and made markings here that are an inch and an eighth wider than this uh, circle here. Basically I'm trying to get it so that this lip here, you can see how that goes up, will fit into the board rather than sitting on top of it. So I'm going to cut this out with a jigsaw and then we'll see what that works like. Well, that looks like one very flat bench to me. And that's because my idea is working perfectly. So this is the setup that I've got right now. The lid slots right over top of that hole there, which means that it's sort of sitting inside of that wood, which brings this lip down just enough. And that's right over top of the bucket, literally. There's no gaps or anything like that. That worked out perfectly for the composting toilet there. Don't worry, this isn't my new sink. I'm just epoxying on the toilet seat here with this clear weld stuff that I had left over from making the penny hearth. So once that sets, it's like a five minute thing. This should be more or less a solid thing. This will not have a lot of strain on it, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem if it's not the best bond in the world. But after that, I'm gonna try and redo the hinge system here so that it will work with the cushion still on it. Okay, so I've just cut everything down, including the lid, by two inches. So basically there are these little strips here, which means that these front portions here are now two inches shorter when they lift up like so. Um, the reason I'm doing that is so that the foam has plenty of room when the lid goes up so that it's not going to be a problem and it will just make using this toilet a lot easier if you don't need to fully remove the foam, take it off, move it every time you want to use it. Okay, here we go. I've sort of made a recreation of what I had before, but I kind of didn't have a board that would go far enough so this one doesn't go all the way, but it's not a big deal. So now I'm going to try it out with the actual lid and see how that works. Okay, so I've moved the piano hinge forward here and reattached the lid. And you can see the difference between the original place and where it is now. So I can also just open it up like that. And we have access to the toilet here. I've put the cushions back for a full test. Now one thing to notice here is that when I put the covers on, these will be a little bit compressed. So right now they're oversized. So they may interfere with each other. But let's give this a shot. So I'm going to grab that. 
Okay, yeah, see there's the problem right there, okay. It's too wide. Let's move this one out of the way and move this over a bit. Because right now, there's no framing here to stop it from getting pushed into there. And like I said, the, these are slightly oversized when they're not in the in the cushion covers. So yeah, it fits right back. Perfect. Perfect. So now it's you're not when you're sitting on this, you're not fighting the foam. It's actually slotting in there pretty much perfectly. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what that looks like from the side here, right? So it does kind of because of the angle of where I want to move forward like this, but I don't have to lean against it. I just need to have my body here and it just sort of this is totally fine. It's not forcing it or anything like that. I've cut a round hole here in this second board, and that's to provide access to my sawdust bucket, which is this bucket right here. And it's actually full of sawdust, which I've been collecting from the build, and that's for use for the composting toilet. Now, I don't like how far down that is, so I want to bring the bucket up so that the lid is just on top here, so that you can access it without having to lift up this portion or anything like that to remove the lid. I've made a funky looking stool here for the sawdust bucket to sit on top of. It's <laughs> it's pretty poorly made, but its only purpose is to lift up the bucket six inches, and for that it's gonna work just fine. Basically, I just recycled the circle that was cut out to make this hole here to make this platform. So here's the toilet set up with the toilet bucket and the sawdust bucket in place. The sawdust bucket has enough room for you to take off the lid here, get access to the sawdust, and then put it back on. Because that's one thing you really do not want to be driving around with open. Sawdust getting everywhere, bad for business. Because it's super light and it will kick up. So just down beneath here you can see the stool, and I just put it in place with some L brackets on either side here. And so it's basically, it's, it's, this bucket's held in by the lip up here, and then just it can't really move very far on the bottom. I've added another hole to the accessory side of the toilet here. Let me show you that. This is a hole for, well, I think you can guess what this is for. Let's take a closer look at this here. So it slots in here. The ring handle has a little place to go right there. And it's being held up by this like little hammock that I made from like a piece of plastic that was holding meat or something like that. And then basically just tied it up into four strings that go up to the top here and form this little swing. So it can fit right in there. That's a real problem. Okay, so I fixed the problem. Basically what I did was I added this portion here which goes around so that these can't get wide enough for the bottle to escape. And I also shortened up the leads a little bit so it sits at a better position. So now, yeah, that I've done this a lot <laughs> and it's never fallen out. I've done this a lot, like, you know, if you were driving, stays in position just fine. The problem of toilet paper is my next concern. Originally I was going to do something similar to this bottle where it goes into a hole. And then I thought, well, I'll mount, maybe I'll cut a hole out so that it can sit here and go underneath. But then it occurred to me, if you got really down to like the last little bit of toilet paper, that could be really annoying reaching in there. Then I had a thought, and I'm, I'm pretty stoked about this thought. I think it's pretty good. I'm going to mount it on the lid. I'll mount it up here, and it will fold down into a hole right there. So I've mounted the toilet paper roll, and I've kind of encountered a weird issue. The template that they give you for marking the screws... Yeah, that means that it actually sets them so big that this bar can't reach. And so I've moved it down a little bit, but I'm thinking I want to move this so that there's like really no movement at all in this. Because why? Why does it need to do that? Okay, so I changed the way that it's mounted, moved these in towards each other, and it's a good fit now. Um, it's maybe a little too tight down here at the back, but that's fine. Like It does crumple this edge but it does also stop the roll from spinning, which is a good thing in a van. Like if it started spinning for whatever, when, you're, when you were riding down the road and then you open it up and it's just like everywhere, that would be really annoying. Okay, so I've cut one more hole in the accessory side and the toilet roll fits perfectly in there. So let me demonstrate that to you guys. So as this goes down, 
toilet roll goes straight in there. And let me show you that from underneath. So from underneath, this is what that looks like. The toilet roll just goes straight through the hole there. And then over here we have uh, the bottle and the sawdust on its little tripod. So here's the toilet couch in all of its glory, fully completed. I've done my best to create a layout that works well, that's clean, that's usable, and that's safe to use on the road. That was my goal going into this. I knew I wanted a composting toilet, but I wanted something that was more than just, uh, just a bucket. I wanted something that was a nice layout and was nice to use. And I think I've really accomplished that. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers for now.